Pray in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, because power and might belong to him, and his greatness and his power, he brought you before his presence. Come in, do that on their way, come in, that Lord, may you deploy your angel before them. To carry them upon their wings and bring them before your presence this morning. Every obstacle, we remove them in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yakata Kabe, Rabba Baba Baba, in a Rabba Shayanda Rabba, Irian de Rimuzian Takaba, Irian Dali Mama Baba, Riburian Dali Mama Baba, in Alaba Sankat. There is power mighty. In the blood, hallelujah. There is power mighty in the blood, hallelujah. in the presence of God. This is the first first Sunday of the year 2023. Amen. And it's a privilege that God has prepared a table for us. Yes. And so we come to worship him. Hallelujah. We come to honor him. Amen. We come to exalt him. Yes. The God who has called us and found us to be worthy. Mm. It mm. says, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. Mm. But in his court, when I come in, it's praise that I come in. Hallelujah. So come, let us bow down, worship. Mm. Mm. Let us mm. kneel mm. before the Lord, the God, our maker. Amen. For he is our king. I'm in the book of Revelation chapter 4. Mm. Surround the verse 4. Surrounding the throne were 24 other thrones. And seated on them were 24 elders. They were dressed in white and had crowns of gold on their heads. From the throne, crowns of gold on their heads. I want us to start to sink in. Seated on them. And then what were they doing? I want to jump to the verse 8. Each of the four living creatures had six wings and were covered. And all day and night, they never stopped saying, Holy, holy. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to join them to say, Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. We are about to worship the I am that I am. Amen. Holy are you, Lord, all creation, call you God, word. Oh, 
of your holy name. Yes, my God, Lord, we Jehovah, we worship you, our Lord, 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 we worship you
worship you. We worship you, mighty God. We worship you, We worship you. We worship you in Crucify, lay behind a stone. You live to die, rejected and alone, like the rose trampled on the ground. You do. Super! 
Jesus to worship you. Worship you. There's only one reason there is I live Jesus is to worship you Worship you There is a I live is to worship The reason we are 2023 There is a I live Jesus is to worship you Worship you Worship you There is a God is to worship you. There is a God is to worship you. Worship you. Worship you. There is a God is to worship you. I do We worship you. Elohim. We praise your name, for it's you alone who deserve our praise. Adonai, we worship you. Adonai, we worship you. Hey, Elohim, we praise your name. It's you alone, for it's you. Yes, alone. alone. Who deserves? Who deserves our praise? I don't know. We worship. Yes, you alone. For you, Jesus, alone. Who deserves? You alone, it's you alone, it's you alone who deserve, who deserve our praise. I don't know him, we worship you. It's you, it's you alone, oh God. It's you alone. The reason we live to see this day is because you made us for your glory. We are your workmanship created in Christ Jesus and to good works which you preordained. We you preordain the good works, oh God. The reason we live this morning is to worship you. The reason we live this morning is to honor you. The reason we live this morning is to exalt you. A new dawn of worship, a new dawn of honor, a new dawn of adoration. The reason we live is to worship you. The reason we live is to exalt you. The reason we live, oh God, is to magnify your name. The reason we live is to say you are holy. The reason we live is to say your name is Jehovah. The reason we live is to give you glory. The reason we are here is to bow before you. What a God. What a God. Alone, who deserves our praise? I don't know. We worship. I don't know. I don't know. We worship you. Allow him. We praise your name. Allow him. We praise your name. It's you alone, oh God. For it's you. You are Lord. You deserve our praise. You deserve our praise. You deserve our praise. Adonai. We worship you. Kabo kabe kadaba kabo. 
Bandore be si makabo ye na ba. Shabara ko se kete yamba. Kama ye noro ko si aba. You are a pillar, oh God. You are a rock, oh God. You are a man, oh God. You are a shepherd, oh God. You are a redeemer, oh God. It's you alone who deserve our praise. Adonai, we worship you. You alone deserve all the glory, Lord. Shall we be seated and in all humility? Who deserve our praise? Adonai, we worship you. Adonai, we worship you. Elohim, we praise your name. For it's you. Elohim, Jesus. We want to honor him with a moment of silence. Jesus, we worship you. Who told the sun where to hide? Who told the moon when to begin? Who sends the snow in season? Who sends the rain in season? Who holds us so we don't crumble? The rock of ages, the pillar that sustains us. The father of the fatherless. Husband to the widow. Husband to the widow, wife to the widower, the father of the orphan, the one who is the joy that we have, the strength in the time of sorrow, the joy that upholds us. You are not our God only in good times, but you are God in season and out of season. The God who prepares a table for us, yes. not because we are worthy, but when the time was yet due, when we were helpless, oh God, there you showed us your love, a love so profound, while we were yet sinners, oh God, there you called us by name. Yes, we worship you. Amen. A God who has chosen to count us in the census of 2023. This morning we come, oh God, from our frailties. We come, oh God, from our emptiness to worship, to honor you, to say you are the pillar that holds us, the rock that sustains us, the peace in the midst of every turmoil, the God who whispers peace. Receive your glory. Amen. Receive your honor, oh God. Receive every adoration for a to you. Not in eloquence, but in brokenness, we yes, come to Lord. worship. Amen. This morning, receive our worship from a place of humility, oh God. We render unto you your due, for it's only by your power. We enthrone you, yes, not because Lord. we have the right to, but because you are already seated on your throne, oh God. Yes, we just confirm what the elders are saying. Holy, holy, holy are you God almighty. Yes, the train of your garment fills the temple with glory. None can measure up to you, oh God. You are good God. You are sovereign God. Yes, you are I am that I am, Lord. Holy Have God. your preeminence. Amen. For it's yours already. Andalaba. We worship you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Happy New Year. So we'll go around and we we'll show love to our brothers. Amen. We are together again. Oh, you can please go around. Let's shake people.
Happy New Year. It's good to see you in 
International Worship Center, we want to welcome all of you into the house of the Lord. We want you to feel at home in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we take our Bible reading, which is going to be uh, the first and English version is going to be 
uh, taken by Sister Alexis Loco. Please wait. <laughs> uh -huh. And then the French version is going to be taken by Brother Foley Geoffrey. Uh, but before that, we just want to use this opportunity to welcome our Father in the entire nation of America. Yeah. Apostle and Mama Sheila Amwako. Father and Mother, God bless you. Happy New Year. Amen. Please, let's take our seats. Lexus. Praise the Lord. Today I'll be reading Colossians chapter 2, verses 1 through 23, and I read from the NLT version. I want you to know how much I have agonized for you and for the church at Laodicea and for many other believers who have never met me personally. I want them to be encouraged and knit together by strong ties of love. I want them to have complete confidence that they understand God's mysterious plan, which is Christ himself. In him lie hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I am telling you this so no one will deceive you with well-crafted arguments. For though I am far away from you, my heart is with you. And I rejoice that you are living as you should and that your faith in Christ is strong. And now, just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to follow him. Let your roots grow down into him and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. Don't let anyone capture you with empty philosophies and high sounding nonsense that come from human thinking and from the spiritual powers of this world rather than from Christ. For in Christ lives all the fullness of God in a human body. So you also are complete through your union with Christ who is the head over every ruler and authority. When you came to Christ, you were circumcised, but not by a physical procedure. Christ performed a spiritual circumcision, the cutting away of your sinful nature. For you were buried with Christ when you were baptized, and with him you were raised to new life because you trusted the mighty power of God who raised Christ from the dead. You were dead because of your sins and because your sinful nature was not yet cut away. Then God made you alive with Christ, for he forgave all our sins. He canceled the record of the charges against us and took it away by nailing it to the cross. In this way, he disarmed the spiritual rulers and authorities. He shamed them publicly by his victory over them on the cross. So don't let anyone condemn you for what you eat or drink or for, not, or for not celebrating certain holy days or new moon ceremonies or Sabbaths. For these rules are only shadows of the reality yet to come. And Christ himself is that reality. Don't let anyone condemn you by insisting on pious self-denial or the worship of angels, saying they had visions about these things. Their sinful minds have made them proud, and they are not connected to Christ, the head of the body. For he holds the whole body together with its joints and ligaments, and it grows as God nourishes it. You have died with Christ, and he has set you free from the spiritual powers of this world. So why do you keep on following the rules of the world, such as don't handle, don't taste, don't touch? Such rules are mere human teachings about things that deteriorate as we use them. These rules may seem wise because they require strong devotion, pious self-denial, and severe bodily discipline, but they provide no help in conquering a person's evil desires. Amen. Praise the Lord. So when you hear a big amen, know that I'm, I'm done. Amen. Nous lisons la parole de Dieu dans le livre de Colossiens 2, du verset 1 au 23. Dans la version Louis II, là il est écrit. Je veux, en effet, 
que vous sachiez combien est grand le combat que je soutiens pour vous et pour ceux qui sont à, le, à la Odyssée et pour tous ceux qui n'ont pas vu mon visage en la chair afin qu'il ait le cœur rempli de consolation, qu'il soit uni dans la charité et enrichi d'une pleine intelligence pour connaître le mystère de Dieu, savoir Christ. Mystère dans lequel sont cachés tous les trésors de la sagesse et de la science. Je dis cela enfin, que personne ne vous trompe par des discours séduisants. Car si je suis absent de corps, je suis avec vous en esprit, voyant avec joie le bon ordre qui règne parmi vous et la fermeté de votre foi en Christ. Ainsi donc, comme vous avez reçu le Seigneur Jésus-Christ, marchez en fait en lui, étant enraciné et fondé en lui et affermi par la foi, d'après les instructions que vous avez été données et abondé en action de grâce. Prenez garde que personne ne fasse de vous sa proie par la philosophie et par une vaine tromperie, s'appuyant sur la tradition des hommes, sur les résumants du monde et non sur Christ. Car en lui habite corporellement toute la plénitude de la divinité. Vous avez tout pleinement en lui qui est le chef de toute domination et de toute autorité. Et c'est en lui que vous avez été circoncis d'une circoncision que la main n'a pas faite, mais de la circoncision du Christ, qui consiste dans le dépouillement du corps de la chair. Ayant été enseveli avec lui par le baptême, vous êtes aussi ressuscité en lui et avec lui, par la foi en la puissance de Dieu, qui l'a ressuscité des morts. Vous qui étiez morts par vos offenses et par l'incirconcision de votre chair, il vous a rendu la vie avec lui et en et nous, en, et nous faisant grâce par toutes nos offenses. Il a effacé l'acte dans les ordonnances, nous condamnait, donc nous condamnait et nous subsistait contre nous. Et il l'a détruit en le clouant à la croix. Il a dépouillé les dominations et les autorités et les livré publiquement en spectacle, en triomphant d'elles par la croix. Que personne donc ne vous juge au sujet du manger ou du boire, ou au sujet d'une fête, d'une nouvelle lune ou des sabbats. C'est l'ombre des choses à venir, mais le corps est en Christ. Qu'aucun homme sous une apparence d'humilité ou par un culte des anges ne vous ravisse à son gré le prix de la course, tandis qu'il s'abandonne à vos visions et qu'il est enflé d'un vain orgueil par ses pensées charnelles, sans s'attacher au chef, dont tous les corps, assistés et solidement assemblés par des jointures et des liens, tirent l'accroissement de Dieu que Dieu donne. Si vous êtes mort avec Christ, au rudiment du monde, pourquoi, comme si vous viviez dans le monde, vous, impose, vous impose-t-on les, ces préceptes Ne prends pas, ne goûte pas, ne touche pas. Préceptes qui tout deviennent pernicieux par l'abus et qui nous sont fondés sur les ordonnances et les doctrines des âmes. Le 23, ils ont à la vérité une apparence de sagesse en ce qu'ils indiquent un culte volontaire de l'humilité et le mépris du corps, mais ils sont sans aucun mérite et contribuent à la satisfaction de la chair. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Even as we dine with the Lord, let us meditate upon the words of this song. Amen. My Jesus, I love you. I know thou art mine for thee. Oh, the far of sin, 
I resign in my grave.
Chairman, Apostle Eric Kwabena Nyamiche, the International Missions Director, Apostle Emmanuel Ajeman Bequin, Apostle Alexander Nana Yaokumi Labi, our General Secretary, and all their families, including the 15 board members of the International Executive and their families. We appreciate the Lord God Almighty so much for your life and also on behalf of the clergy servant that is my own family we thank you for your prayer support throughout the year your contributions your dedication to the kingdom business we've come this far because of your prayer support and your love for Jesus Christ and we cannot take that for granted so on behalf of the leadership here, COP USA, we want to wish you all the best in this year. The theme for 2023, as by now you all know, is repositioning the local church for maximum impact in the nations, including United States. Repositioning the local church for maximum impact in the nations. Few passages have been chosen by leadership for this special theme. Reading from Colossians chapter 2, verse 6 and 7, I read from the ESV. Therefore, as you receive Christ Jesus, the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith just as you were taught abounding in thanks given oh hallelujah Amen. the second passage that we will be treating and be reading throughout the year is also taken from first Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 19 and 20 that I read from the NIV. For what is our hope, our joy, or the crown in which we will glory in the presence of our Lord Jesus when he comes? Is it not you? Indeed, you are our glory and joy. You are the local church. You are the elders, you are, presiding elders, you are, church members, men and women of the Lord, you are, the youth, arise and shine, you are our joy. Each of you is our joy when we stand in the presence of God Almighty. What we need to understand is that throughout the year, there are certain uh, topics that the leadership have selected. It is the desire of God and the Church of Pentecost worldwide to strengthen the local church in our nations in the following areas. And I want you to pay attention to these areas. The first one will be family altars. We need to reestablish our family altar. Talking about devotions in our homes, in our personal life, and among our families, devotions, family altar. That will be the place where we can help our family members to be rooted and built up in the Christian faith. So as ministers, as church leaders, as members, when you get the opportunity to minister 
during weekdays and Sundays and all meetings. These are the topics that we need to talk about. The first one is the family altar. We are being also encouraged to repositioning the local church in the area of evangelism. In the area of evangelism. Psalm 2 verse 8 tells us that the Lord has given nations to us as our inheritance. So we need to evangelize. I believe that this point or this topic is in line with the possession, the nation agenda for the past five years and we are going to continue on the next uh, five years possessing the nation agenda. We must possess America for Christ. Our target must be the youth in America, being Caucasian, African American, Asians, and all other winnable souls in America. Let us position the church to win all these people for Christ to the glory of his name. Let us therefore encourage the youth ministry at all levels and help them to be able to help us to achieve this noble vision. We will therefore ensure that the metropolitan PIWCs will be established in all the regions, even as we have started some of them, the Rehoboth and also Cap City and others. It is our prayer that all the regions, we will plant these uh, metropolitan PIWCs so that we will encourage them and resource them to engage in the area of evangelism. And I want to also request that leaders in our churches will help us grow the homogeneous churches that we have planted. Talking about the Spanish churches, the Swahili churches, the French churches, and the Indian community outreach churches that we have already planted. We want to make sure that in all the regions, all the districts, all the locals, we will establish these churches and grow as we evangelize to the Americans. Hallelujah. The next topic that the leadership want to encourage all of us to minister, take our time prayerfully and research the scriptures and allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you. So that you will be able to uh, teach the members. One of the areas is the local church and the sacrificial giving. We are talking about sacrificial giving and tighten uh, our spiritual obligation that brings divine blessings into the believer's life. Let us not shy away from speaking about tighten, from uh, speaking about sacrificial giving, even though the world um, are attacking uh, Titan and other things. But we know and we believe that these are the areas that the Lord encourages us to give and it shall be given to us. And even as we tithe our 10% to support the kingdom business, we receive the blessings from on high. We will experience the opening heavens in our homes and in our local churches. So let us do well to prepare and minister in these areas. The next thing we want to talk about is the manifestation of the Holy Spirit in all the local churches. Let us make sure as pastors, as church leaders, to encourage our members, the new ones that comes in to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The rest of us will uh, endeavor to pray so that we will be able to not only to receive the baptism and speak in tongues, but we will bear fruit and our fruit will last in all areas of our life and in our nations. Also, the manifestation of the spiritual giftings. When we meet, we want those who have the grace in the area of faith, in the area of miracles, in the area of um, wisdom and knowledge to be able to administer all these Giftings in our local churches. Hallelujah. Once again, the other area that the leadership want us to carefully look at is the local church as a family. 
We need to understand that we are family. One family born of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And when we talk of uh, the ch local church being a family, we're talking about the family love. We need to love one another. Loving one another not because we are expecting something from somebody. Not because this person will give it to me so when I have it, I will uh, give it back to them. Not uh, uh, a family that we will discriminate against each other. But we will show genuine love of Christ among ourselves. Family that cares about each other. If someone is in trouble, all of us are in trouble. If someone is in need, all of us are in need. And God has blessed each and every one of us. Our strength may not be the same. But if we are able to share our resources, supporting each other, then God through that will strengthen the local church. We are talking about family that prays together. So let us pray for one another. Even as Apostle Paul said that we need to pray. All kinds of prayer. And not only that, but praying for one another. Praying for the church leadership. Praying for the vision. Praying for our young ones. Praying for the children. Praying for those that are sick. Praying because we have to pray. Even when we are happy and things are going on well, we need to pray. Once again, family that provides for each other. Family provision. We need to provide for each other. God bless Abraham so that he can become a blessing unto others. So we need to make sure that we provide for each other. Family that protects each other. Let us protect ourselves. Let us pray for protection. Let us uh, uh, protect our young ones. Let us protect the church leadership. Let us protect uh, the church members in all areas of our life. These and many more that the Lord will give to us under this wonderful team. Repositioning the local church for maximum impact in the nation. On behalf of the leadership here in COP USA, this morning I unveil the team for 2023 in the COP USA. Repositioning the church for maximum impact in the nation. May the Lord God Almighty the God of our fathers who has become our own God strengthen you and build you up in the faith even as we move ahead in this year 2023. May you enjoy fruitful and impactful ministry in this year 2023. May the Lord God Almighty the God of our fathers who has become our own God Continue to bless you. Enjoy the rest of the year in the presence of Jehovah God. Amen. Shall we do a better one for Jesus? Amen. At this moment, we have come to a very important section of the service. And this is where God speaks to the church. The first message on the first Sunday of the year 2023. And the vessel that God has chosen to deliver this sermon to us as the father of the entire church of Pentecost USA, the, the person you saw in the video. But for the sake of those who may not know him, because we may have visitors amongst us, he's an apostle of the church, ordained by God. And his name is Apostle Michael Ajiman Amwako. He came also with his beautiful wife, Mama Sheila Amwako. 
it is our singular honor to call to the podium our father, Apostle Michael Ajiman Amwako. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've already spoken 13 minutes. And I want to take that into consideration, placing that on the record, meaning I will not speak for too long. Amen. We wish you all a happy new year on behalf of the family. Um, it's been a while since I came here and I've seen that some mountains have been removed. Oh, hallelujah. Where are the mountains? We bless the Lord God Almighty for the leadership of the Holy Spirit and also our dear father, Pastor Ampofu and the wife and the leadership. Let's church, let's put our hands together for the leadership here. We appreciate your great work and your dedication. As we all know, we've already introduced to you the theme for the year. Who can stand up and say it alone? I don't want to call you by your names. Because some of you, I know the names. But I need a volunteer. A pastor, no. I want it from the members. Or from the, from the uh, music family. The theme for the year. Who want to try? Okay, who can volunteer? Okay, go ahead. Your name? Mimi. Oh, I have a daughter called Mimi. Let's put her hands together for her. That's my daughter. Okay. In the nations. Oh, hallelujah. And PIWC here is a nation on its own. I heard other languages, French, and we want to encourage them. Hallelujah. Now let's take our Bibles even as we read a few passages and see what the Lord has for us the next 15 minutes. We want to read, since we read the main passage, we don't want to uh, read that, but let's take Proverbs chapter 16, verse 2 to 3. Proverbs 16, 2 and 3. All the ways of a man are pure in his own eyes. But the Lord weighs the spirit. Committing your work to the Lord. And your plans will be established. I want you to read after me. All the ways of man are pure in his own eyes. But the Lord weighs the spirit. Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. This year, that is what the Lord has for you. That there are so many ways in a man's heart and in your eyes. But if we want our plans and our work, our families, our lands, and all our resources to be established, our visions to be established, then what God wants you to do is that commit it into his hands. You've tried it so many times, doing it on your own, and it didn't work. And believe me, God is saying that 2023, if we want to keep on doing things the same way we did last year and previous years, it's not going to work. The only way that your visions, your inspirations, and ambitions are going to be established is committing that into the hands of God. As a pastor, I cannot help you. 
As an apostle, I cannot help you. Your parent cannot help you. As a matter of fact, we may try to help. But it will not work. There is a hands that God wants you to commit all these things into. Then you can expect success and establishment. Oh, hallelujah. Let's read another passage. Proverbs chapter 3. We want to read from verse 17 through 23. Her ways are pleasant ways. And all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Those who hold her fast will be blessed. By wisdom, the Lord laid the earth foundations. By understanding, he set the heavens in place. By his knowledge, the watery deeps were divided, and the cloud let drop the dew. My son, and I will add my daughter, do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. Preserve sound judgment and discretion. There will be life for you and ornament to grace your neck. Now listen. Then you will go on your way in safety and your foot will not stumble. Hallelujah. This morning, I want you to take these passages which you read it over and over until it is registered on your heart. It will help you. What the Lord want me to share with you is entitled repositioning the local church in the ways of the Lord for maximum impact in the nations. So simply put, I am talking to you about the ways of the Lord. The ways of the Lord. He is saying that we need to commit our ways to the Lord. That means we have our own ways and God has his own ways. And it's not only one way because I'm here to encourage you if you have missed one opportunity, one way during 2022, there are other ways for you that you cannot miss in life. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, if you serve God and you are not careful or endeavor to know his ways or being ignorant about his ways, sometimes, not all the time, sometimes you find it even difficult to appreciate him because you may not understand the kind of God that you are serving. The Bible shares with us in Isaiah 55 verse 8 and 9 that his ways and his thoughts are different. So we need to be informed but not uninformed about the ways of the Lord. If there is anything that you want to do this year in your Christian life, I want to encourage you to develop a habit that you will learn more about the ways of God. You will seek him. Lord, show me your way. Show me your way. Show me your way. But before we talk about the ways of the Lord, even as I mentioned earlier on, we want to find out the ways of men. When we came here about 30 something years ago, 
there was no cell phones in America. We were using beepers. Yes. Yes, beeper. So the person will beep you since you don't have a cell phone and you hear that beep. Their number will register on your beeper. Then you, you stop, if you are driving, you stop somewhere and find a phone, public phone, pay phones, and call the person back. There was no cell phones. And as a matter of fact, there were no GPS. And planting churches all over. Today, COP will hear that, oh, we have few members here in that city. Everybody will pack themselves like you coming to church this morning. You will go and help other place last night. And in the morning, you run back to New York and start your church. Some of us who were fellowshipping in the, uh, in the afternoon, like Atlantic City, when we started, we were doing evening service. So in the morning, we pack all our stuff, including keyboard and everything. Pack and go to Philadelphia for morning service. Then we come back. But most of the times when you are traveling, since there were no GP, uh, GPS, what we would do is that you print what they call map quests. I don't know even if it still existed in, existing in, the, in the system. So you print it and the map quest will give you certain locations. Highway 5, route this, route that. Then the person that you are going to visit will tell you when you pass Route 9, uh, you will see a, a gas station with a green sign and all that. So stop there and ask. And most of the time when you stop there, and this attendant, there may be other people that they don't even speak English. So they will tell you, okay, uh, you're trying to get to this city, go straight, make right. Then you go all the way down. By the time you realize you've wasted about an hour. And you're running late for church. You're running late for work. What am I trying to communicate? By God's grace, now we have GPS. All these technologies that are going on. And if you don't take care, you depend on them. But as a matter of fact, they are not accurate. What am I talking about? You can put in the address. It tells you how long it will take you to get there. It may give you two different uh, uh, routes. And tells you that this one will take you there 35 minutes. And this one will be an hour and two. And as Woman as we are, we want everything to be fast. Okay, let me take the 45 minutes. You punch it in and you begin to drive. Sometimes it can take you there on time. Sometimes too, if you are using like ways, it may even tell you that okay, there may be a police uh, officer in the road and all that. But what it's not accurate about these systems is that it will tell you everything the time you get there but it will not tell you if you are going to have an accident or there is an accident on the road so can we rely on these systems we need to depend on God as we leave from our homes you need to commit yourself, your life, into the hands of God. Commit your ways into his hands. So that even if it's going to take you an hour or two, you'll get there safely. Oh, hallelujah. So, the systems are good. I'm not saying that we shouldn't use it. But what I am trying to communicate is that the only one that can protect you so that your outgoing and your incoming will be saved. The only one that can establish your desire is the Holy Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Let us place our hands in the Son of God who is Jesus Christ. 
and he will protect us with his spirit amen what are we talking about the bible share with us in proverbs chapter 16 verse 25 there is a way that seems right to a man but it end is the way to death that is the nlt the other versions also read there is a way that seems right to man but it end it ends the way of death okay let me pick up the nlt again there is a path before each person right but it end in death either path or way is way oh hallelujah look at the reading very well there is a way or path that seems that look like in the there is something that i've heard someone said it i don't know who said that that the beauty is in the eye of the beholder or individual you may see it as something that may look good or that is good but the bible is saying that it seems that means it's not accurate there is a way that means there are so many ways that you need not to be tricked off because it may look good looking good doesn't mean is good sounding good doesn't mean is good sometimes some of us are very smart that we want to make sure that there are certain things that are logic but you can get it wrong it may sound it may look it may look appealing to everyone receiving approval of everyone but that way the bible says that at the end thereof may be death i pray that every way every decision that you make in life you commit that into the hands of the lord some of us have started so many projects vision that we have we want to implement and other things but initially it will look good when you get to the middle then you begin to doubt already you have invested money into it but did you consult it, the author and the finisher no you didn't do that and that is why it didn't work that doesn't mean it wasn't a good vision that doesn't mean god did not speak to you about it but when he spoke to you about it, when he laid that vision on your heart did you consulted him for the details i want you to build what type of building where are the engineering documents about it the architectural drawings the engineering drawings where are they who do i trust to implement that or to begin you need to ask questions in life there are so many crossroad even as we have entered into highway 2023 you get to so many crossroads but you need to commit yourself your plans your journeys your visions your children your church and your ministry into the altar and the finisher of your feet hallelujah 2023 will come with so many opportunities and challenges so many opportunities and challenges but if you are not able to commit these opportunities into the hands of the lord though they are opportunities but it will never be materialized 
No matter the prophecy that I can give you, no matter the prayer that you pray, the tongues, you need to commit that thing, that idea into the hands of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. When it comes to you or the, uh, the, the year presents you with challenge, if you don't take it and you don't commit that into the hands of the Lord, do, since we do not know the ways of the Lord, and our thoughts and our minds are not as him, we may get it wrong. Because there are certain challenges that comes with opportunities. If we are able to jump over one challenge, there are so many good things out there. But we must commit those things into the hands of the Lord. When it comes to the ways of the, of the sinners or the wicked, I don't want to even go there. Don't worry about it. Because the Bible tells us in Psalm 1 that we need not to go there. We need not to stand there. Blessed is the man who walk not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the way of sin. That one, please avoid it. Even as we journey through 2021. Because there are certain friends that will not help you. The moment you bring out that vision, then, oh no, 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 this thing, somebody started, they didn't. Somebody, I am not somebody. You are a child of God. Don't allow anybody to sit on your joy. God has dropped something in your heart, an idea. In this country, we don't need money. We need ideas. Your ideas will bring the money. God can drop a strategy. He can drop an idea. And when you put it on the table, you develop a business plan and you call people, come and sit down. This is what I have. How much are you willing to pay for? You will detect your price. This is 10 million. How much do you want to take? Okay, I will take $100,000. I will take fifty. By the time you realize the vision, the ideas will bring that money. May God entail you with ideas. May God grace you with strategies. Oh, hallelujah. These young guys, uh, 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 the Facebook guys and all that, where did they get this thing from? This year, God is going to raise young men and women in our churches. White house does not belong to only the whites. Does not belong to those that are from this country. You too were born in this country. May God raise you and place you there so that we can have maximum impact in Jesus name. As long as we try to avoid the company of the sinners. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Now let's consider the ways of the Lord. Commit your ways. Pastor, how do I commit my ways to the Lord? And what it is at all. When you say that the ways of the Lord, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? One, those that are writing, when you talk of the ways of the Lord, we're talking about Jesus Christ. The Bible says that he is the way. Jesus is the way. Again, when you talk of the ways of the Lord, so that when you get to the crossroad, you can apply it. When you get to the crossroad in life, Either challenge or opportunity. What you need is to commit the situation into the hands of Jesus. The next thing we need to know about the ways of the Lord is that the ways of the Lord, we're talking about the wisdom of God who is Jesus Christ. So the ways of the Lord is Jesus and the wisdom of God who is again Jesus let's read this passage so that you can understand or you can write it down 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 24 
First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 24. But to those called by God to salvation, both Jews and Gentiles like you and I, Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. So when you get to the crossroad, what you need is the wisdom of God. When you have that vision, what you need is the wisdom of God. When the going become tough this year, what you need is the wisdom of God. And that is the way of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. That is the way of the Lord. Definitely this year will present itself with opportunities. But to be able to handle success, you need wisdom. Some people have acquired so many things in life and after their death, their children, their family members were not able to handle the success. Some people had the opportunity to be in leadership but the success that comes with that, they are not able to handle it. So they started well but later on, you see that they depend on the charisma pushing aside the character. But you can't make it in ministry without both. May God grant us the wisdom. God can give you an idea, but the very person to discuss that idea with, you need wisdom. You need wisdom. Though Joseph Ideas and dreams came to pass, but he suffered because of how he communicated these dreams. I thought you could have even started with the parents so that when the second one came, the parent would understand. But going to his own peers, his own brothers, his own immature family members. This is what the Lord is telling about, saying about me. I'm going to be greater than all of you. Hey, uh, God is going to bless me more than all of you. Do you think they will take it lightly? Is it wisdom? My dear brothers, God has shown me something. And I think it's the benefit is going to bless all of us. Keep on praying with me. And let's pray together that these things will come to pass. What are you talking about, Joseph? God has revealed something. At the appropriate time, I will communicate. I've shared that with mommy and daddy. And very soon, when it begins to come, I will share that with you. We need the wisdom. King David has heard. And the Lord has revealed it to a prophet to go to the king and tell the king what has happened. Oh, Nananyankwa, may you live long, O oh king. There is something that has happened in your kingdom. And I think it's very terrible. May I know about that so that I can fix it? The king inquired. There is this poor person had only one resource. And this guy is very rich. And you know the story. Who is that so that I can you bring that person to the book right now? Nana, I'm so sorry. But the person is you. What a wisdom. As a prophet, God gave him wisdom to communicate. At the end of the day, the king needed to stand up and throw down his garment, repented of his sins. We need wisdom. But to be able to gain that wisdom, the Bible says that we need to commit our ways into his hands. Before 
I conclude. We need to fix our eyes on Jesus. Because he is the wisdom that we need. He is the way that the, 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 the year will present so many ways. One, two, three, and more. But you must prayerfully look for the road called Jesus. The way called Jesus. The path called Jesus. And when you find it, don't allow anything to distract you. You hear some voices. Things may distract, but keep focus. Tell your neighbor, keep focus on Jesus Christ. Oh, on Jesus Christ. When we talk of Jesus being the wisdom of God, let's read this passage very well. We read it, but probably we didn't take note of few things in that passage. We read Proverbs chapter 3, verse 17 to 23. We want to pick up certain things from it, then we will pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. There is a song that we sing. All his ways are pleasantness. And all his paths are peace. I don't know who wrote that. But I think theologically, it's supposed to read. Though the song is used on Jesus as his ways. But when it comes to the wisdom, which is the spirit of Jesus, the Bible says that her ways are pleasant ways. And all her paths are peace. So he was talking about Jesus. The motherhood of Christ accepting every one of us Oh, hallelujah. So if we commit our ways into his hand, he has a better way. And these ways are pleasant. Ways and the paths are peace. Hallelujah. Let us allow Jesus to lead through our lives throughout this year. And follow him together. Even as the songwriter said, we will follow him together wherever he may lead. Sometimes it may be through mountains and here and there, but at the end, we will find peace. At the end, we will find establishment. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Let us continue to read. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Talking about wisdom. If we commit our lives, our children, our education, our businesses, everything that we, we're doing, if we commit it into the hands of Jesus and take hold of his wisdom, hold it so tight. The Bible says that then the wisdom is the tree of life to those who hold on her. This year, let us hold on Jesus. So tight that nothing can separate us. Oh, hallelujah. Those who commit their ways to her and partake in Christ, they receive life. The life that is in the wisdom of Christ, if I'm holding it, then definitely I will gain life. If any vision has been dead or anything that is wrong in your life this morning, I am here to declare life. May the power of Jesus restore it. 
power of the blood restore you if you are walking alone Jesus wants me to encourage you that he need a hug from you hold on to him hold on to the wisdom there are so many wisdom that are going around I'm not talking about the wisdom that we gain from reading books and going to school no those things are good but the better one is Jesus the wisdom of God the wisdom of God those who hold her fast will be blessed sometimes we fly a lot and going through turbulence and other things you will see that some people are holding the chair in the air then you kick 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 then and some people are holding their wives holding their uh, their, their family members in the airplane that will not carry because at the end of the day if the, the flight is going to crash all of you are going and most of the times when I, 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 I experience that, I say to myself, Lord, your hands is on me. And I don't think I have finished your work. So you are in charge. Oh, hallelujah. Let's hold the wisdom of Jesus. Uh, hold Jesus who is the wisdom of God. So tight, no matter the turbulence, no matter the challenges. Because those who hold her fast, will be blessed oh will be blessed may you receive blessing from a high even as you have tightened your seat belts in 2023 by wisdom the lord lays the earth foundation through jesus christ who is the wisdom who is the way who is the life Bible says that everything that we see hanging there was established by his wisdom. By his wisdom. So, he cautioned us here, the writer, and this morning, God is saying to you, my son, do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. I want you to turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, my dear sister or brother, do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. This is what literally I want to demonstrate. This is what is being presented to me as wisdom. God is saying that it shouldn't be out of my sight. You see, I'm coming down from the stairs. But my eyes is not on the floor. My eyes is on this object. So whatever I do, you may be talking to me. Oh, how are you, auntie? Are you fine? Oh, good to see you. It's been a long time. Though we are communicating, but my eyes is on this. Oh, hallelujah. This year, God is saying to you that, my daughter, my son, do not allow wisdom and understanding to come off your sight. Keep your eyes on Jesus. He is the finisher and perfecter. Of our feet. There is something that I want to leave you in this. Why is the scripture saying that? Let me find that one and share with you. It went on to say that then you will go on your way in safety and your foot will not stumble. On this journey of life, there are so many obstacles in the way or may come your way. Some may come from friends and families that will distract you. But keep your eyes on Jesus. Oh, keep your eyes on Jesus. 
Keep your eyes on Jesus. The chief version explain, my son, do not let the wisdom uh, and understanding out of your sight very well. It says that keep the wisdom in your heart with good mindsets. Fanyansa siye wakuma mu na fa ajempa nanti walk with good mindset think about everybody very well even as you keep the wisdom of God in your heart commit your ways into his hands and you find peace at the end because there are so many ways that may seem right but at the end thereof may be destruction this morning, what I receive is what I've shared with you. May the Lord bless us all. Oh, hallelujah. Shall we be on our feet? And I want you to bow down your heads. Unknown. Abide under his control. Bow down your heads. Abide. Under his anointing, his presence upon your soul. Just sleep in the arms of Jesus, and I shall be full in Open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord for the word that you have received. Lady and the Rabba Sakatana Rata Rabayanda we are praying to God and asking him for grace to know his ways and follow his ways there is one thing knowing it and following that we need the grace to be able to do that may God open our spiritual eyes to be able to see and identify his ways and the grace to be able to follow his ways. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for your word that Lord you have given to us today to know your way because there are so many ways that may seem right but at the end there of maybe destruction. Father, we pray this hour committing ourselves into your hands, O oh God, that you open our spiritual eyes to be able to know your way, to be able to identify your way so that we will follow you alone together wherever we may go wherever we are doing we know that once your word has come to us Lord you know what you are doing in many ways like that Lord we didn't know your way and we follow our own ways following other ideas and all that and it didn't help but today your word has come to us even as we journey through 2023 highway may you help us oh God in the mighty name of Jesus Cause us to be able to follow you, attract to your directions and your your decision in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory, Our final prayer: We are praying to the Most High God that we want to commit our lives into His hands. Talking about our ways, our children's, our children, our ways businesses, ministries, the church. So we're committing 
every aspect of our life into the hands of the Lord. We've done it alone. It didn't help. Our marriages, our singlehood, documentations, education, our children, and all areas of our life that you are ready to commit into the hands of the Lord. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Don't forget to pray for the church too. We will not be able to do it, O Lord, on our own. We depend on you. We rely on you. Holy Spirit, committing our children and young ones in the church into your mighty hands, O God. Committing marriages into your hands, O God. Committing finances into your hands, O God. Children that are in their education, uh, pursuing the education, we commit all of them into your mighty hands. Agenda that Lord we have for this year. Every aspect of our life, every aspect of ministry, we commit all those things into the hands, into your hands. For the past we have trusted uh, in our own abilities and others. But this morning your word is telling us that trust in the Lord with all your heart and do do not lean on our own understanding. Father, grant us the grace that, Lord, we will not depend on ourselves. We will not rely on ourselves. But we will commit or submit our ways into your hands. And that is what, Lord, your people are saying. Lord, must underline. So that at the end, you make our path straight to the glory of your name. Lumo Sokoto Yonduroa. Shabaita Beka Yende. Miri Andanama Sakataya. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. A final prayer we pray for the church. And when we talk of the church, we are talking about you. And either Christ has purchased us with his blood. That going forward, the church will move on mightily. The church will attract the community. The church will bring souls into the kingdom. Jesus is coming. And the Bible encourages us that any time that we come and dine with him, we need to go out there and proclaim Christ, who is the wisdom. People need this way so that they can, they, they, they can walk on this path, that they, they are, their lives will end successfully. Let's pray and commit the church into the hands of the Lord. That the purpose in which the Lord has brought this church here will be accomplished in the name of Jesus. You may take your seat in prayer. There is power, power, what a working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, what a working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power. Father spoken to us the mind of God this morning Jesus Christ who is the way and the wisdom of God if you want to have fellowship with this Jesus that our father has presented to you that is one way of committing your life into the hands of the Lord that is one way of sticking or looking at the wisdom of God and Christ Jesus will help you when trials and tribulations come. Because with him in our boat, we always smile at a storm. And so if you're ready to give your life to Jesus, 
Wherever you are, please raise your hand up and we'll pray with you. If you're ready to give your life to Jesus, wherever you are, raise your hand up. We'll pray with you. If we have all done that, then let's give a clap offering unto the Lord. Amen. We're getting ready to dine with the Lord. And I'm taking this passage from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 downwards. This is from the NIV version of the Bible. For I received from the Lord what I also pass on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the lost death until he comes. So then whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and the blood of the Lord. Everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat of the bread and drink from the cup. For those who eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ eat and drink judgment on themselves. That is why many among you are weak and sick. And a number of you have fallen asleep. But if we were more discerning with regards to ourselves, we would not come under such judgment. This is the word of the Lord. As we're getting ready to dine with the Lord, there's a moment of evaluation where you go deep inside of yourself and you evaluate yourself so you don't come here and make a mockery of that which is so costly for Jesus on the cross. And so on this first day of 2023, God is calling the church to evaluate ourselves. And if you come to the point where you have repented of your sins, Jesus has just been presented to us. Just run to the foot of the cross. Hold on to the cross. Repent of your sins. And you should be ready to come to the Lord's table. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you know that you are not ready to commit to that repentance right now, then we would advise you to wait. Hallelujah. Amen. Also, if you have not been baptized please, we would ask you to wait. If you are a communicant from another church and you're visiting with us, please, you're welcome to dine with us. Amen. 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 May I have the presbyters, elders, deacons, and deaconesses, please join us at the table. There is power, power, wonder working power is in the blood of the land. There is power. Our dear Lord and our Master Jesus, we thank you and we bless you because you are the way, the truth, and the life. We thank you for what you have accomplished on the cross for our sins. Today, even as we're standing before your presence, Lord, we are remembering what was accomplished on the cross 2,000 years ago. Amen. And because of that, oh God, with one heart, we present this bread before your presence. Amen. That today, indeed, it will represent the body that was broken for the redemption of humanity. As we take this bread, Lord, may we be energized, oh God, to do exploits for you. 
Amen. There are any weaknesses in our bodies, oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus for instant healing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We present the blood, oh God, before the throne of grace that as we speak now, Lord, that indeed it will represent your blood, which was sacrificed for our salvation, Lord. As this blood enters our bodies, Lord, we pray that, Father God, we would be set apart for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We declare this meal sanctified. Yes, in Lord. the name of God the Father. Yes. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 There is power. Power. Wonder working power. In, in the, the blood. Of the Lamb. Yeah. 
the shirt for me way back on Calvary the blood that gives the strength for me Bless the name of the Lord. Lift your voice and offer thanksgiving unto Him. Pour your heart out unto Him in prayer. Rezo satanda le bra hakutande le me kayanda la braha rababa bosh kere me santa la la bros kata baba kando la braha rabasunta le bre shonde le bre kapo kiyande le be saka branda la zaiki bresh kata la 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 bra zosa santa la la ba shabara bara bosh yande le le bre kaba rakasunta la baba rakabosh kada ba sikante le le brenda la ba handa la la ba siasata la ba. We bless your holy name. We give you praise and glory. Amen. This moment I'll call Elder Pozu to join me here and say a prayer on behalf of the church. Prions. Seigneur notre Dieu, Papa, nous voulons te remercier. Papa, nous glorifions ton nom en ce premier jour de l'année. Seigneur, il t'a plu de venir nous établir la table et que nous puissions manger avec toi. Seigneur, la force qu'il y a dans ton sang, que cette force puisse nous fortifier, que nous puissions faire la marche durant toute cette année avec toi. Seigneur, tu nous as parlé de ne pas euh, éloigner nos regards de toi. Seigneur, que ton esprit nous aide, que ton esprit nous vienne en aide, afin que durant toute cette année, que nous marchions avec toi, que nous puissions te confier nos projets, afin que nous puissions connaître de succès. Merci Seigneur, parce que tu nous as considérés et Seigneur, nous voulons te faire le vœu que nous voulons marcher avec toi. Aide-nous à pouvoir de, demeurer dans cette grâce. Au nom de Jésus, nous avons prié. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Shall we take our seats? Yes, the Lord. 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 Yes, the Lord.
for the Lord. Church, I want you to help me thank our national head, Apostle Michael Ajimana Marco. Stretch forth your hand and say, Papa, God bless you. God bless you so much. Amen. David said, one thing have I desired of the Lord. And that one thing would I seek for, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. There's one thing we want to do before we we take the announcements and then we will close. Uh, we want to recognize one of our own who worshiped with us for not too long. But the exceptional contribution of this guy to the church has been awesome. And all of you attest to it because anytime we come here and we call out first time visitors, they rise and they mention his name. They rise and they mention his name. In fact, it gives me the privilege and the singular honor, even as our father, the national head is going to do this presentation to our brother, George Wune. do better can we be on our feet even as we present I want to pull it out so that you don't trick me <laughs> this is to our dear brother George on behalf of the PIWC the greatest PIWC in COPUSA we appreciate all the things that you're doing, the contributions. Winning souls is one of the greatest things that a Christian can ever do. In heaven, your rewards and your stars are going to be many. When I read this thing, I decided that I will try as much as possible to win souls wherever I go. And recently, we've been to Ghana several times. And intentionally... Intentionally, we try to win souls anytime that we go to Ghana. You come through my path, we present it to you. If I forget it, my wife will bring it to you. So let us all endeavor to win souls 
for the Lord. But on behalf of the leadership here, I present to our dear brother, George. I thought he was a deacon. Not, not, not yet, right? Okay. So I present to our dear brother, George Wooney. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, your family. God richly bless you. Amen. By the way, what is Patashi? <laughs> Kitchen. Oh, okay. All right. Now I know. Good. Uh, please, uh, I want to speak into the fasting and prayers. Originally, we were supposed to have started the district t- uh, 14 days fasting tomorrow, but there's a regional two weeks fasting and prayer which is beginning the 16th to the 29th and so that automatically cancels what the district has we are all going to join the region as we observe the regional weeks fasting from the 16th to the 29th so we are no longer starting tomorrow that gives you some breathing space Uh amen (laughs) amen on this note shall we praise the lord I'm so happy about what I'm seeing here. Church, put your hands together for the Lord. Um, When we started organizing PIWC conferences for the leadership, there are so many things that we went through with the leadership. And I cannot visit here and go um, thinking or looking like things were not done right. You have done everything right and excellent oh you can do better for yourself and as a matter of fact i'm so proud of you i'm so proud of you i'm so proud of you i can't wait to see the metropolitan prwc that your church is going to be the main one Uh so we're looking for we're looking for a place that will sit about 1,500. Uh-huh. And I can't wait. Uh, in New York, I can't wait. We're still looking and we're praying. So, um, Pastor and your leadership, on behalf of the national leadership and on my own family, we want to say a big thank to you uh, for the great work. Um, this is a, a type that we're looking for. The word administration, song administration, the environment, and the way things are being organized and all that. Uh, guys, if you are watching me and you don't have a place to worship, you are in New York area. I'm advertising for them. You need to visit here. P-I-W-C. I was going to say Manhattan. But New York, oh hallelujah, and very soon, soon and very soon, that is a vision for the COP USA that the next six years, we want to bring in all the small English and PIs together. We find a huge place, um, like New York, we need about 1,500 seating capacity. If you find a building, let us know. Oh hallelujah, God bless you, Pastor. We appreciate you so much. We're so proud of you. Keep up the good work. Amen. We are humbled, Papa. God bless you. All right. Please, this is, if this is your first time worshiping with PIWC, before we take a closing prayer from our mother, we want to recognize you and give you the PIWC welcome. Can you please rise to your feet? Let us acknowledge you. If this is the first time you're worshiping with us, you've never been here before. Okay, good. If we have all been here before, then we are good. Let's give praise to Jesus. Amen. On this note, shall we please rise to our feet as we call our national first lady, Mama Sheila. And after that, our father will bless us. Our gracious redeemer 
immortal and invisible God. This morning, Lord, from the cut of our heart, we render our sincere gratitude and thanks unto you. We thank you and we bless you for another wonderful time in your presence. We thank you for the ability and enablement to come into your presence. We thank you, Lord, for your grace today. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you, Lord, for your lovely kindness. We thank you this morning for giving us opportunity to dine with you. We thank you for the power that you have given unto us. We thank you, Lord, for the word of God that has come unto us. Lord, this year help us to have union with you. Help us to be rooted and deeply rooted in you. Build us up and strengthen us. This morning, Lord, your word has come unto us. You are telling us that everything that we do, we should commit everything into your hand. And Lord, you will establish it. And Lord, we say we thank you. And you have spoke to us that all your path are present way. And all your ways are peace. Lord, we say we thank you. It's our prayer that this year, Lord, give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding so that everything that we will do, we, are, we will acknowledge you in our life. We pray, Lord, thanking you for the vessel you used to bless us today. Any virtue that has gone out of him, may you replenish it. We pray committing your church unto your hand. Continue to build your church to your own glory. We pray committing ourselves unto you. As we are living, we are not living in your presence. May your presence go with us. We thank you and we bless you in the mighty name of Jesus, I prayed. Amen. Amen. I'm pressing on the upward ways. New heights I'm gaining every day. So pray in us. And onward bound, Lord, plant my feet on high yeah, ground. Let's take it again. I'm pressing on the upward ways, new heights I'm getting in every day. So pray in us and onward bound. the grace together. May the grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, the love of God, God sweet the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit abide with us now and forevermore. And forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your lives and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Your name is a strong tower, Jesus. To you belong all power, Jesus. Whenever we call your name, you make a way. Your name is a strong tower. Excuse me, the presbyters will be taking a, a picture with uh, our papa before we leave. All the presbyters, please stay behind. Also, 
platter here for everybody. Jesus, one for each family, one for each family. Praise His name, all you saints. 